Hello class, welcome to this lesson. This is class 6, science. Today we are going to tackle types of soil erosion. Remember our previous lesson, we learned about agents of soil erosion and factors which increase soil erosion. Then we also mentioned the four main types of soil erosion. So we are going to discuss the four main types of soil erosion. Types of soil erosion. Just the way we say, or uh, agents of soil erosion, we have two. We have uh, water, which is main, and wind. So just the way we said water, water can lead to splash erosion can lead to sheet erosion, can lead to rail erosion, can also lead to gully erosion. What about wind? Wind can only lead to one type of erosion, that is sheet erosion. So it is only sheet erosion which can be caused by both wind and water. Now let's go to each type of soil erosion as we see the cause and how to prevent it. Now let's start with the first one, which is splash erosion. Splash erosion is also known as sparta or raindrop erosion. It is the displacement of soil particles by raindrops. You can see the picture here, you can see the drawing which is here. This one is what we call raindrop. This is a raindrop. When it hits the ground, or uh, it uh, loosens the compact of the soil, then the splash goes up, splash goes up, and leaves a hole there which looks like a fort hole. How do we control splash erosion? It is controlled by mulching, mulching, or planting cover crop. Planting cover crop, this one can happen in the field. What about mulching? Because this erosion is common under the roofs, especially areas with corrected iron sheet, so you put the mulch, or under the trees, you put the mulch there, control it, or plant the cover crop. This one is reduced. The intensity at which the raindrops hit the ground because they will fall on the mulch first or the cover crop which will act as absorber before it reaches the soil. Number two, which is sheet erosion. You can see the picture which is here. This is sheet erosion. How do, I de how do you identify sheet erosion? You see the roots of plants are hanging outside. Remember, roots are supposed to be inside the soil. But when you go or when you walk around and you see the roots of some plants are outside the surface, which means so which kind of erosion has taken place there? Sheet erosion. Sheet erosion occurs when top soil is eroded in thin uniform layer thin uniform layer thin uniform layer make it hard to notice so it occurs when topsoil is eroded in thin uniform layer down a gentle slope this sheet erosion is not easily noticeable but in areas where as you can notice them, they are noticed when plant roots are exposed on the surface. It is also considered as landslide. Recently you heard about the landslide and how it buried people or how it fed people. That's what we call sheet erosion. We have the third one which is called rain erosion. When you are talking about rain erosion, you can see the rains here. These rains are shallow channels on the ground. 
is the carrying away of top fertile soil by the slow flowing water by the slow flowing water forming shallow I'm repeating forming shallow channels on the ground then the last type of soil erosion which is number four is gully erosion gully erosion you can see here to the picture here here is v-shape or u-shape what makes the difference between rail and uh, gully is if you check here we have uh, deep deep but when you check uh, rail it is shallow so here it is rain when if this is if if rain erosion not controlled it leads to gully erosion it is common on steep slopes where flowing water forms deep u-shaped or v-shaped gullies how do we control gully erosion we control gully erosion by Building what we call gabions. Building gabions. Gabions are also known as porous dam or check dam. Why are they called porous dams? Something porous is so uh, it can allow water to pass through, but the solid particles are trapped. For example, if you have a sieve and uh, you uh, you have a sieve, the, uh, you want to see your tea. Which, what will pass, what will pass, and the tea leaves remain up. So we call it porous. If it's a container, it's a container with holes, allow water to pass, but the solid particles are trapped. That's why we call it check dam. It allows water to pass, oh, but the uh, solid particles are trapped. And lastly, I want to talk about order of soil erosion. When you talk of order of soil erosion, just see how I explained here from splash to sheet to rail and lastly guide. This is what we call order of soil erosion. You must know the order of soil erosion from splash erosion. If not controlled, may lead to sheet erosion. With sheet erosion not controlled, may lead to rail erosion. If rail erosion not controlled, will lead to gully erosion and when you align with this point for example gully erosion becomes hard to control the land is even become impassable it becomes impossible to plant your crops there it becomes impossible to build houses and do other human activities in such areas so in any point of time you see where you are staying the raindrops have started leaving some holes, please do mulching before it goes to sheet and rain. Then lastly, or we say land erosion. Have a nice day. Keep yourself safe. Sanitize. Wash your hands. Wear your mask in public. Have a nice day.